to my channel. So, the last video I did for Kirsten and Andrew Nako, everybody said they couldn't hear it. I got a new mic, so I wanted to redo it. So, if you aren't aware, Kirsten and Andrew Nako was from Meridian, Mississippi. Um, he was, he worked on a tugboat on February the 26th, 2014. Um, Christian was found with a gunshot wound to his head in his upstairs apartment bathroom. Um, the Meridian Police Department ruled his death a suicide after a 45-minute investigation. Um, so, his, um, his... The gun was found by his left leg, uncocked, which you have to physically do to the type of gun it was. And But he was right-handed, so it was the wrong hand. There was no way he could shoot himself in the head and then uncock the gun and set it on his right, you know, on his left side. That's strange. And both of the people that were in the apartment at the time both had gunshot residue on their hands. It was obviously not properly investigated. So, I want to look into it. Um, let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Wrap me in your white light. Keep me safe from anything negative or anything that wishes me harm. Can you please show me with the tarot what led up to um, Christian Andrianako's death on February the 26, 2014? What led up to Christian Andrianako's death? Please show me with the tarot. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Death card in reverse. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay, can you please show me um, who killed Christian Andrianako? Please show me, Spirit with the Tarot, who killed Christian Andrianako. The Hangman, Three of Wands in Reverse, and Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Um, the next question I have, can you please show me with the Terror Spirit, what involvement did, if any, did Whitley Goodman have? Can you please show me with the Terror, what involvement did Whitley Goodman have? Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, the next question. What involvement did Dylan Swearingen have? If any. Can you please show me what involvement... Dylan Swearingen had in the death of Christian Andrew Nako. Please show me. Um, that's too many. <laughs> okay. So we have the Eight of Wands. The King of Cups in Reverse, and the Five of Wands. And on the bottom is the Four of Wands in Reverse. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so, <clears throat> what led up to Christian's passing is the Seven of Pentacles, which shows things coming to fruition, hard work paying off. It shows the manifestation, manifestation, I'm sorry, of goals, ideas, ambitions, um, focusing on what you want to achieve, making it happen. Um, this is a card of like planning and patience. It can also show like a large inheritance coming to someone. The death in reverse shows resisting a change um, that is necessary to move forward. 
It can indicate making a decision to let go of people, situations, you know, like past issues or relationships. Um, this is a card of change and a new direction. And then the Eight of Cups in the reverse shows um, a lack of emotional maturity as well as stagnation, um, needing to let go of people and situations. And being afraid of losing um, your sense of financial security. Um, so, for me, this was a planned thing. They were patient. They planned it. There's a... And kind of changed the direction of it to make it look as though he couldn't... Um, he couldn't move forward. He was stuck in his emotional baggage, you know, emotional turmoil. Um, it was made and manipulated to, like, seem that way. Um, and then the next question, which was, you know, who killed Christian? Well, the hangman shows being in a situation that you're not happy with. Um, being trapped in a situation. Um, it can show, um, walking away from a situation or changing your perception of it. Um, it shows things not turning out how they were planned <clears throat> and taking time to plan and consider your options, basically. With the three of wands in reverse, it shows, you know, returning from travel. So, someone being there waiting... This is waiting, hanging around as well. And then this would be him returning home. Um, and it shows being restricted, like being basically trapped, um, walking into a trap. Um, and being able to progress any further. <clears throat> um, and being restricted and held back. You know, somebody holding on to him. Being basically lured into a situation. Um, then the Three of Pentacles shows like um, poor worth ethic, um, a lack of effort, um, conflict within a group of people or team, and it shows like a third person causing friction. <clears throat> so that's three individuals being lured into a situation that they that is not as it appears basically there's something that they wanted to work toward um wanted him to get aboard get on board with they needed him to be able to progress and he was they tried to like force him into the situation almost Interesting. And the next question, which was about Whitley, allegedly. And everything is alleged for entertainment purposes only. Um, this is just my opinion. This is not a fact. Everybody's innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So, with Whitley, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. This shows, like, extreme regret, remorse, burdens, negative thinking. Um, it also indicates malicious gossip. And scandal surrounds her, you know. Um, it also shows infidelity, deception, and a relationship coming to light. Um, issues being brought to a head. It also indicates, like, mental illnesses, issues uh, spiraling, and letting go of past relationships. <clears throat> the uh, Seven of Swords is deception, lies, trickery, a lack of a conscience, mental manipulation, uh, scheming, as well as dangerous and dodgy deals, and escaping detection and getting away with something. And then the Page of Pentacles is solid beginnings, setting goals, developing a plan, um, taking advantage of opportunities. Um, it can show seeking like education or training and getting rewards for hard work and putting things into place 
um, to secure your financial future. So this could indicate <clears throat> that the culmination, because the nine in tarot is the culmination of events, um, you know, causing, making him appear like he had mental health issues, you know, so that she could get away with something and escape detection. Well, what she wanted to get away with, with was, you know, she thought that um, she was on the his insurance. I think that she had told him that she was pregnant. And I think that he told her that he had already moved forward with it and had already put her onto his plan. And because he was wanting to leave the situation, wanting to break up, she was scared that um, she wasn't going to reap the rewards, reap the benefit that she was, you know, that she had been nurturing, basically. So she put a plan into place to ensure that she did. So the next question is about Dylan. And with the Eight of uh, Wands, this is speed, rushing, progress. Like this is text messages, things put into motion. Um, you know, what? once it started, it can't be stopped, you know, kind of thing. It shows sudden action, travel, um, freedom. Things taking off at a great speed and gaining momentum. Um, it shows thinking on your feet, seeing results, and finding solutions. Um, it shows hard work paying off or will pay off. It also indicates being infatuated or obsessed with something or someone. And things progressing quickly. Um, the King of Cups in reverse is someone who's very overly emotional and too sensitive and it's also someone who plays on the emotions of others because they lack uh, emotional maturity um, allowing them so, you know uh, seeing that someone's gullible and taking advantage of their emotions um, it shows a lack of emotional balance and being bitter, um, uncaring, and manipulative behavior um, is also shown there. Um, using, you know, using your abilities to sense the vulnerability of others to get your own way. Simply, you know, for his own amusement, you know. Um, very, being very vindictive, spiteful, um, and it's not to be trusted. Um, it can show being dependent on the people around you, or as for Dylan, being dependent on the people around him. Um, it shows disloyalty and seeking support and guidance. Um, it can also indicate having an affair with a married man. Um, it shows being cold, calculating, and being a great con artist. Show, you know, um, it this person appears to be quite charming. But they're very dangerous and a manipulator, you know, with a hidden dark side. Um, stopping at nothing to get what you want, basically. Um, the Five of Wands, it shows the conflict, fighting, disagreements, uh, battles, aggression, temper. Um, it also shows, like, clashing personalities, clashing egos, pent-up aggression. Um, as well as a lack of cooperation. Um, it shows being rough and defensive, as well as territorial. Um, competitiveness, you know, leading to disagreements. And it also shows conflicts surrounding money. Um, it could indicate injuries received due to, like, contact sports or playing aggressively, almost. <clears throat> and then the Four of Wands... Um, shows being jilted, uh, canceled celebrations. It can also show surprises or signify surprises like at the home, a surprise event happening, uh, being made to feel like you're not welcome and that you don't fit in, uh, communities or families being divided, 
and having trouble form like someone have that has trouble forming bonds with other people and trying to avoid a embarrassment so um i know that i had heard that he was like having a relationship with an aunt of uh whitley's but i i think that it was a male I really do think that it was an older male that Dylan was having an affair with. And um, Christian knew. But maybe it was manipulated to get things in motion, you know, because he was supposed to be... Um, well, he was already causing conflict between him and Whitley. Whitley is one person that he's able to form a bond with. He's very... He's a very um, uncaring person. He's a sociopath, but she is too. And demons recognize demons, if that's the best way to say it. Um, dark people recognize the darkness in someone else. And um, they understand each other in that way. I feel... Like, he was so, you know, he was addicted to um, drugs. You know, he had went to the counseling place because he, maybe he wasn't able to get them because he didn't have the money. And, you know, he was feeling very off kilter. Um... So he had to get his mind right and plan, and it was part of the forward planning, almost in a way. Um, so I feel like he's the one that set things into motion, um, possibly told the King of Cups, who is in a position of power um, in the town, you know, possibly this could be. A lawyer, because usually they're counselors, guidance counselors, um, uh, you know, court counselor, DA even. Um, he used his relationship with him to manipulate the circumstances almost of um, what was going on to have this man want to get rid of him too to, because of the conflict that he was having with Dylan... That could expose his secret and tear apart his family. And he needed to um, make sure that he wasn't called out for... He wasn't embarrassed. Like, you know, if you're in the closet, I guess, you know, it would be an embarrassing thing to come out. Especially that's going to ruin your family. You know, he wasn't maybe... He was like, well, reach out, you know, offer him this, like, offer this for him to stop. And he was like, no, he isn't wanting to, you know, work. He's not wanting to cooperate. He's not wanting to work, you know, with us. He's he's just going to tell because he, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I think that's the way that it was done and it was all set into place. I think that it was a forward plan from him and Whitley because I do think that him and Whitley are the same. They are unable to feel any type of emotion for anybody else. They're narcissistic sociopaths. Sociopath. A, I mean, like I said, um, to share before and how I feel is Whitley and Dylan, they're both going to go to prison or jail for something. Um, the way that they are wired in their head, there, it's inevitable they are very dark people and they're sociopathic and it's going to be unavoidable. It's going to be completely unavoidable for a time to come when they either murder someone and get caught for it or they go down a path of being addicted to drugs to deal with the dark and conflict their mental they're they're not mentally there they're not no mm -mm. mental instability <clears throat> but yeah that's what i see um i hope that christian does get justice one day um 
even, you know, like I said, karma, the one thing that everybody can rely on and that is never going to let you down is the fact that what goes around comes around. And you cannot go around with this kind of energy, doing this to people, ruining people's lives, murdering people. You can't do that and expect to not be, not for it not to come back at you. It will. If we look at our lives and the situations that happen, I'm pretty sure that most of the time, it maybe not the time we don't see how it affected and how it balanced something that you did out or something that you put out, but it's real. What you put out is what you get back. So, with that being said, if you are a positive person, put positive thoughts out, positivity is going to find you. That is what manifestation is. Manifesting the life that you want and the, you know, the fake it till you make it, put a smile on till you're really happy, is a true statement. If you think it, you will become it. What you think is going to happen is what's going to happen based on what you're putting out there. You know, um, if you know, it doesn't mean, oh, you're just going to get a brand new car. Manifestation isn't about, if I think it enough, I'll have a red car. You know, I want this red car. A red car will just magically appear. You have to actively pursue and actively um, start the process. And yes, you can manifest a way to bring this red car into your life. But you have to actively work towards the manifestation. You have to put in the work for it, too. So, yeah. Love you guys. I hope that this is better and everybody could hear it better. Bye.